Now the final thing I want to go over today is upgrade management tool, which has got a significant upgrade in 4.1. And so what we're doing here, this is when you want to move content from XIR2 to 3.x. This includes universes to promote them, dashboard designer reports, explorer view sheets, anything like that. That's what you, this is a tool that you will use as an administrator to migrate that content. So as you can see here, we have a 3.1 environment, right? And we can either connect to it live with upgrade management tool, or we can export out the data that we want to export out as an LCM bar. We run it through an upgrade management tool, which changes all the coding on the back end, so that it can now be read in 4.1. Your queries and objects are going to remain the same. Uh, just the way that they're handled within the system will be a little bit different. And again, this goes back to our earlier point of what do I migrate and when do I migrate it. The biggest issue when you're upgrading this is that occasionally you will move all of your content over only to realize that you have a two, material that you never used or material that you don't want in your new system for whatever reason. When we're suggesting doing an upgrade management tool, the first thing that we suggest is that we take some time, we sit down with your major users and your IT team, and we kind of design what's important and what is not. Now, that's not always impossible. <clears throat> so at that point, what we would suggest is that you do an incremental update. And you get input from different business users, and you migrate content up folder by folder or business group by business group to A, minimize the IT costs of handling any errors on the upgrade, as well as making sure that the content that you move to your new 4.0 environment is not only useful, but it's being used. Um, and this is just a basic live to live of 500,000 info view objects, how long it took, and what the requirements were, right? So this is a live to live via the command mode. There is also a GUI interface, which I find very useful to use. You can see kind of the working set here, it's 100K named users, it's 300K user collaterals, and 100K text objects. What that means is by user collaterals, that means documents in their favorites and that sort of thing. So no objects were lost during this migration. And you know, so we can see the source, right, is one CMS, running 2008 R2 with SQL Server 2008 R2, and this is actually migrating it to a 2 CMS with uh, Linux Red Hat 5 and Sybase. And so that took approximately 36 hours. We're finding that with a decent system on both ends, that you can usually migrate a small to medium content within a three to four hour cycle. And then also just some technical requirements, right? You see your active CPU usage on everything, right? You can see kind of where things are coming from and, and what they're being caused by. So for example, a number of it is the FR, the file repository system that the files are being write, written to. Um, we also see the CMS having upgrade at later points in the process here as well. And an average number of objects in the database by hour, right? So we start with a lot of this, which is just conversion. And then as you see, over the last half of the process, this is when most of the objects are being committed to the repository. And again, average heap memory, right? This is uh, gigabytes and this is megabytes, so we're talking about you know 12 gigs here and what the memory requirements are as we go down. The final thing that I want to talk about here is, is go back over this incremental upgrade. Now you can do either an incremental upgrade or an upgrade management tool as long as you're using Windows as your platform. If you do this upgrade on Linux, you have to do a full upgrade, as it turns out. And so what we're talking about here, you can see that there's a number of different departments here. On the right-hand side, you see all folders, HR, accounting, and sales, with a number of different users and a number of different groups. And so as we migrate just the content from HR, then we'll be able to migrate those users over along with that data content. And the same thing for the finance group and the accounting. You can see, again, that's a different set of files right here. And that allows us to kind of control not only the deployment of 4.1, but also control the content there as well. 